Good morning, everybody. Today we're sitting here with Diego, one of our digital strategists, and we're going to be talking about the Hong Kong landscape. So, what do you see our clients taking advantage of in Hong Kong currently when it comes to traditional means of marketing? Yeah, so um, it's pretty easy to see that Hong Kong companies um, shift towards a more traditional approach in the, their marketing strategies. Yeah. You know, we take the metro every day, it's pretty easy to see how much they prefer that kind of approach. But then as a traditional versus digital marketing, it's just how hard it is to measure the return over the investment you're yeah. making on that kind of advertising. Yeah, okay. And then when it comes to digital, why are more of our clients looking to make that transition now? Digital is extremely right. precise. You can target your um, audience throughout a series of variables such as age, location, behavior, and everything else. Um, so you know you, you're spending money on people that are actually more likely to buy something from you mm -hmm. as opposed to just getting your ad out there to anyone that wants to see it or wants to interact with it. Right. Not only that, but now um, on an interaction um, basis, you only pay for your ads when you're running them on online uh, when someone actually engages with them. And right. so, you know, for you to measure return over that kind of uh, uh, marketing campaign, it's much easier, much more effective. Uh, reality is that we spend an average of four hours a day on our mobiles. Maybe more. Maybe more, depending on who you are. Uh, people do over 40,000 searches um, every second on Google search engine. So, yeah. you know, it's a, a, we'll spend an, an average of five years on social media throughout our lifespan. Um, more if you like taking selfies and posting on Instagram. Um, yeah. But the reality is that Digital is here to stay, and you either adapt to it or you're gonna lose a huge chunk of your market to your competitors there. 